I guess what I wanted to do is just kind of fill you in about some of the paintings and where the inspiration came from. And sometimes there really isn't inspiration. But uh, for instance, the Colorful Girls. The Colorful Girls have been um, a series that I started with quite some time ago. I wanted, actually they started out as vases. Um, the design did and um, they kind of evolved into women and I don't have my original one here but th that's how they all began and I wanted different colors, I wanted different skins, I wanted, I wanted everything different colors and I, I think they worked out fabulously. Sunfish, I was thinking about painting fish and I thought I live in Minnesota and I started doing sketches about different fish and of course where does it come from? It comes from the sunfish. So that's how this one began. It's just too much fun. Um, patron Saint of Color for Girls. I always was really interested in religious iconic, you know, icons, um, uh, like Russian icons, things like that. That's how that one began. And when I was thinking about, um, you know, what to name it, well, I am the Colorful Girl, so I decided to call it the Patron Saint of Colorful Girls. I think she's fabulous. All of the frames that you see, too, I want to let you know that they're all recycled. Um, some of them I bought wood and had friends make them and I paint the frames. Um, a lot of these are just from Salvation Armies. So one of the things is that they're not perfect. Um, they've got nicks and they've got nooks and they've got, you know, dents and dings in them and things like that. But I think that's what adds character to them. Uh, I want to point this one out. This one is called Night Sail. And I was just really, I'm a sailor. And I was trying to think of something really fun that I could do for sailing. I I'm really kind of feel it's almost childlike. Um, below the water, on top of the water. We spend a lot of time anchored out at night. And the, just the wonders of the world and all of those waves sometimes which get kind of crazy but that's my my take on the night sail and unfortunately unfortunately we don't have parrots on, up on Lake Superior so um, yeah that's also my fantasy because that's where I want to be is in the Caribbean one of these days sailing so let's pop over here this is one of I think this is almost one of my favorites I love the pure design of it um, my partner Dan told me to not paint up the, the frame too much to keep it simple and I really think the frames pop the paintings. I just, I think it's fabulous. I think it's clean and clear and the lines are really fun. Um, I collect California pottery, 40s and 50s pottery, so that's one of the things that I love. I did a whole series, Free Bird is too much fun, I did a whole series of bird paintings and this is sort of that evolution of the flowers and the birds. So I just love this. I did a, several of them that did bright orange background and it really pops it. Okay, a couple more wonderful favorite things. I want you to get in close on this. Okay, this one is called The Piano Has Been Drinking. I was doing these sketch of dancing uh, goblets and pitchers and, and glasses. And this is how that, that, that ended up. And it was from a Dan Hicks song and his hot licks. And one of, the, one of the lines in there was, the piano has been drinking. And I thought, isn't that a perfect name for the painting? Again, the colorful girls, but of course, some girls, we like to have a couple of cocktails. And we are kind of colorful when we do it. So this is that uh, take on that with us girls just having a cocktail or two. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, I gotta straighten this up. Okay, hook, line, and sinker, fishes. So again, Minnesota, I wanted to do some fun things about fish. The fun thing about this too is that this is old crown molding a friend of mine tore out of a building and another friend made the frame for me. So all of the frames I think are really key. Some just need to be simple. Others, I think, really pop the paintings. The birds, are again, out on a limb, branching out. Uh, this is another part of the bird series and I think that with the birds, what I love about the birds is that they're all different sizes and shapes and colors and I love piling them on top of each other. I love them balancing and playing with each other and the interaction of the color and the texture. So that's one of the things I love about stacking those birds on the canvas. It's just too much fun. Next. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is my Southwest Spirit, 
And this one's been around for a while. I did him quite a while or her or whatever it is, but did that quite a while ago. Um, kind of had a friend, Rollo, Rollo um, and she was always embodied that Southwest spirit to me. And it's kind of my shaman or um, the color. Again, I love the frame. I just splattered the painting all over the frame on it. And it's got a lot of texture to it. And I really, I love the colors and every time I look at it, I think of that Southwest. It really think embodies it. And here we are, tropical getaway. I was on a blue lagoon in a house in Acamal, Mexico, and I came home and painted this painting. She's another one that's a little, a few years old, but I tell you what, she embodies everything about the Caribbean and the uh, tropical spirit. I mean, look at her. She's just standing there. She has a hibiscus in her hair. Her eyes are closed. She's just sinking in the, in, in the sun and uh, all of the tropical flowers around her and it really embodies what we should be on uh, when we are on vacation. So she is my tropical getaway, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Come on, did you check? Oh, she's so cute. That's Cindy from work, Cindy Riemler. All right, and these little fun ditties, I had so much fun. I always love fringe on things. But I wanted to do them, and especially for just this show, too, um, or for any time. I wanted something that uh, was affordable, that if someone came in and could not afford a, a larger canvas or even a print, um, that they could take home a little, it's called the, the Fun Fish series, and they're just little tiny mini canvases. So for an affordable price, and the lovely thing about them is you could buy one, they look great in twos or threes or fours or a dozen of them hanging on a wall. I, I, I will continue to do these because everybody loves, everybody loves fish. And all the colors, no matter what color I do, they look fabulous together. So I, I love working in that small size. It's a little faster for me. And it's still got all the texture and all the movement. And I love that beads. What do you think, baby? Made by me. Hat Lady, love it. She's sort of an experiment of texture on canvas. She has, actually has a necklace on. She has a lot of paint. She's got rhinestone, plastic flowers, and plastic cherries for the Hat Lady. So she was really an experiment, and I just think she turned out fabulously. She's very simple, but she's really fun. I think she has a lot of style. <laughs> What do you think? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>